Hello, this is uh, video five of my series on the shoulder and particularly the rotator cuff group of muscles. So uh, <clears throat> the fifth one is really a summary and it's a conclusion of what we've talked about in the last uh, four videos. So we've gone over a little bit about the anatomy and how it all looks and what's uh, and that we've got the big four muscles, the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, uh, almost forgot myself, and subscapularis uh, muscles forming the big rotator cuff group of muscles that sits above the shoulder, stabilizing it along <coughs> with the labrum, which gives a bigger uh, cup to stabilize the shoulder joint, and how the tendons, the ligaments around the joint, and also the negative pressure, all come to give the shoulder uh, more stability. And the main advantage of the, uh, or the rather, the price we pay, if you like, um, for the, this extraordinary movement we have in the shoulder, which we can't do with a similar joint, the hip joint, is the instability. And that's why you have the rotator cuff group holding it all together. So, um, and that's what helps us as humans survive. If you think about us in the, when we were, in, uh, well, maybe you can't remember, but in the, in the Stone Age, we had to go around to pick tools, throw spears, etc., etc., wage war, which uh, sadly we're still doing. And um, this is all the how we have, uh, in a way, managed to uh, do so well because of that inherent uh, mobility we have in our upper limbs that makes it helps us move around and use tools and. Uh, throw things, etc. So it's a it's a highly developed mechanism to keep the shoulder going. Um, and we've also talked about because of it, it's prone to injury, particularly as I keep on stressing, if we don't keep strength up, if we don't, uh, if we just sit, watch Netflix or whatever, and we don't move our shoulders, use weights to keep up strengthen the muscles and also by consequence in the tendons we're much more likely to either rupture or tear the tendons and you've got four groups of tears ranging from one a minor tear that's 25 percent to grade four which is a complete tear and for grade when it's a complete tear you need surgery we also talked about um there i say how i can help in terms of using osteopathy or acupuncture or manipulative treatment shall we say um, and also some strengthening exercises to help rehabilitate um, and that is usually pretty effective for most kinds of uh, shoulder injuries problems apart of course if it's a complete tear and also what we talked about if there's a lot of inflammation and a person uh, will not tolerate any sort of treatment because they're in agony and that's when a steroidal injection even though it doesn't cure and long-term benefits, there are no long-term benefits from it. In the short term, it can give relief, which is important for sleep. And also that by dampening down on that irritation, you can actually help a person get uh, recover with physical treatment. Um, sadly, there are some cases, as I said, with complete tears or what's called the shoulder uh, rotator cuff arthropathy, when the when the shoulder glides up and there's no movement, no tendon integrity, when a shoulder replacement um, is the only course of action to help a person move again. And I've seen people with shoulder replacement, actually they're quite good. They can get a quite good movement and they're out of pain and it's life-saving for people of the older generation because they have got, uh, they can live independent lives without having their arm, arm in a sling. Um, and I'm on almost the five minutes and I've promised to try to keep within five minutes and I've failed on a couple of videos, I realize. Um, so that brings an end to my talks on the shoulder. I hope you've enjoyed them. If so, do let me know if you want any other topics. Um, I'm gonna to think about other topics to do. So I hope to do this sort of on a weekly basis, different parts of the body, just give a quick talk. Thanks very much for watching and uh, hope to see you again. So keep watching and I'll let you know when my next uh, set's out. Bye-bye.